we fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now hello you guys i'm the diva and i am back with another haul slash review this time so i have worn these products for um since i bought them on friday and the products that i'm talking about are from fenty beauty you guys i okay let me give you a little background i have bought a lot of things from fenty beauty and i have not kept any of it um i bought the foundation ended up taking it back i just didn't like the fact that it would dry down to a totally different color than the color that i put on i need yeah so i just need for my foundation to be the exact color that i put on my face and then um i bought um her eyeshadows I've, I've bought a lot of stuff i bought her match sticks i bought a lot of stuff and usually what i end up doing with all of that stuff the foundation is the only thing that i bought and took back the rest of the stuff that i've bought was um given to uh, my daughters so and then i on just about every launch of hers i buy my girls something so i want to support her and i will support her but anyways so um when i saw that she came out with a setting powder and or a loose powder and a concealer i was like okay now she might be looking at me because you guys i have um always said that i don't feel like rihanna is checking for me and i don't mean that in a in a mean way as a makeup brand you can't check for everybody you have your niche and you should stick with they usually stick with that and that's fine i will just go and get my stuff from somewhere else so um but she's checking for a lot of people pretty much a lot of women of color and that's a beautiful thing but when i say i don't think she's checking for me um i mean that in a way of um for mature mature skin she's not mature so yeah i don't feel like she's checking for us but when i tried these two products right here i want to say she's on the right track she's on the road like i feel as though i could use this um all of my uh concealers i compare them to tarte shape tape i love that stuff because it sticks around like glue on my eyes and um my under eyes are a big issue for me um i have crepey under eyes and i'm gonna try to get in as close as possible so that you guys can see my problem areas i did not touch my face up today i didn't touch up under my eyes i didn't touch up my nose which you guys i'm not feeling too well right now so um this area has no makeup so when i come close just know that when it comes to my concealer i need for it to stick around because i have crepey under eyes and um i, I apparently i blink a lot because my makeup usually doesn't stick around in this area in this area right here before i got a magnification mirror you guys i always thought that my mascara was um was running and falling on me but once i got a magnification mirror i have the simple human mirror once i got that 
I noticed I was able to look I noticed all of that darkness and flaking that you see right here that is my concealer flaking off and no matter what concealer I have it does it it even did it with the Tarte Shape Tape it was just that it did it so much less and I really want to say that this held this holds up just as good they to me it's on par with Tarte Shape Tape so what I'm gonna try to do is come in as close as possible so you guys can see what I'm talking about here goes I hope that this is close enough but this is as close as I care to get on the internet okay but um, if you guys can let me see if I can look in my mirror okay right here there is missing makeup you guys and then right here in the corner of my eye there's missing makeup there's missing makeup here there's a little bit right here and then there is this right here that is missing um it's not bad if you're looking at it like right now like i'm looking at my um eyes right now it doesn't look that bad you can see it in the corner and you can see it in the corner over here it doesn't matter what concealer i'm using every time i uh get ready to do a video those are the areas that i have to touch up so with that being said i love this because it doesn't feel like there's anything under my eyes um it's pretty wet when you take the brush out the brush isn't that big i did like tart shape tape because of that but this right here is just as good and that's what the color i have looks like you guys i have the number 380 this is what the color 380 looks like And then that little bit did travel a lot and the coverage is beautiful if you can see it just lays there right on the skin it looks like my skin it doesn't look like something is lying on top of my skin it looks like it is a part of my skin I can't remember how much it is but I will most definitely put it on the screen because I hate you guys going to somebody's video and them not showing you the prices I just feel like why are you even why are you even doing a video if you're not gonna tell me how much it costs so I will put that up and then as far as the um, setting powder it's um, is I love the color I got the color honey and I love it for the color and also for this right here this little cover it's not attached to it it's separate and I love that because I can um, take this and dump this on top and put the product in here and then dump it back on top close it up and uh, dump it back on top and then put this top on and it keeps it all covered and in there I don't know I just I, I really like that um so let's look at the powder Fenty Beauty is not perfect but it comes pretty darn close you guys you are definitely going to get your shade color you guys that is one of the things that i hated about tarte shape tape was that um the the shade selection was so few and between for women of color and fenty just knocked it out the park i don't know how many they have but it's somewhere around 100 just kidding maybe not really but i think i'm just kidding but they have a wide 
range of colors for women of color. They did it. They knocked it out the park with this one. Okay, on top of the concealer, it looks like my skin is airbrushed. I, you guys, I love it. I really, really love it. So I can no longer say that Rihanna ain't checking for me because she is. Riri got the girls out here like, it's right. It's right for me. It's right. It's right for me. So, but yeah. So those are my thoughts on the two products. I love it. The honey. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is the perfect color. Um, one thing that I did want to say about this is that um, I feel like this is comparable to um, Laura Mercier setting powder. Uh, the one, oh yeah, the Laura Mercier setting powder. This, the honey is in the middle of the translucent and the deep it's right in the middle and it just it's just so nice I'm back this is the next day you guys and I felt like you guys needed to see my look for today I am feeling my under eyes I feel like this is the best my under eyes have looked in a long time I'm just so excited you guys about what is happening up in this area I'm going to try to come in just a little bit closer so I can show you guys again what it does do it's not perfect but um, just to show you what I love about it and all that good stuff but yes this was my look for today and yeah I'm loving it I'm loving it Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but again, I still have a little bit of wear um, in the corners and creases of my eyes. So right here, there's a little bit of wear of the makeup and right here, and that's again on both sides. I don't see any other areas other than that, but you guys, my under eyes to me look so good. I love it. The concealer, it it um it adheres to the skin very well. I love how it does that, especially for somebody like myself with um creasing and crepey under eyes. Concealer can have can tend, have a tendency to sit on top of the skin and every time the skin moves it cracks and moves and this does not do that it adheres to the skin and it's almost like it's one with the skin it does wear in areas where um where i blink a lot apparently i do i blink a whole lot so it does wear in those areas but i'm okay with that because all of my concealers wear in those areas but a lot of times it's way um, the that area is way bigger and um, a lot more um, not it's way bigger but a lot more of the uh, concealer flakes off and um, I love the setting powder as well I feel like they both work very well together and I also feel like it does work the setting powder works very well with um, my foundation and all that good stuff the concealer I used underneath my eyes um, on my forehead my the bridge of my nose and my chin area and stuff I used a different um, concealer it's a stick foundation that I use as a concealer for the setting powder I use that under my eyes I used it in all the areas that I highlighted so I really do love that I use the um, the um, I put the setting powder on and then I brushed it away with um, my MAC mineralized skin finish 
this is something that I feel I will go back to Rihanna for over and over again. I plan on doing a panning challenge this um, this year. I'm uh, going to start that in about a week or so. And I'll be doing a video on that. And I am going to put this item, well both of these items, in that um, that panning challenge. But that's all that I had um, for you guys. I just wanted to come back in and say hey and yes, I'm loving Fenty Beauty. I feel like her concealer and her setting powder is mature, lady, friendly. All right, until next time, you guys. Bye. Something like a sign, yeah.